Hello, everyone, and welcome to Voices of the Void. A job simulator type horror game in which we are tasked with monitoring and maintaining a number of satellite dishes, monitoring the stars for signals from beyond. I played this game a few weeks back, and I didn't really like it at first because I thought it was too complex, too confusing, I didn't really understand the mechanics. But once I got into it, I really started to see what this game is doing and appreciate it in a big way. Now, I was actually playing a version that was quite out of date at that point because I had downloaded it like months before and never gotten to it. But this is one of the more recent versions, so it should be a lot more polished. But you know what? It has been a couple of weeks since I've played. My knowledge is going to be a little bit rusty. And some of you watching this won't have seen my playthrough of the first part. It's a new version, there's new things to understand, so I'm gonna go in fresh. And I guess I'll try to bring both you and myself up to speed as we go. So let's start game. And I think I'm gonna try the tutorial, because I think some of you said in the comments for the previous part that the tutorial, which I kind of famously did not like, uh, has been reworked. Node graph out of date, rebuilding. See, that's weird because this thing has so many elements of source that node graph out of date, a whole bunch of sounds from Half-Life and Half-Life 2. And yet looking at the file structure, I'm pretty sure this is on Unreal. So that's kind of funny. Now here we are, attending to our responsibilities for the first time. Entering the gate of this darkened forest, and in the distance we can see that some of those silhouettes are not trees. This was the most surprising thing about this game for me the first time I played it. That we're not just responsible for doing the job, we're responsible for maintaining an entire park, essentially. All the equipment within it, and all the while, our own sanity as we go mad from the isolation. Oh, this is such a cool game. It's creepy and comfy in so many aspects. So much of this game is just sitting around being bored and lonely. But instead of detracting from the experience, it makes it all the more immersive. It makes it feel like you're there. It makes you feel like you're going through this experience and all the nuance that goes with it. There's the horror of being alone in a dark, empty base. There's the horror of being alone in a dark, empty forest. And then there's the horror from... See, here's the thing. As you do your tasks, you tend to get fairly distracted. Uh, either you'll be bored with nothing to do, or you'll be focused on the task at hand. And when you are focused on the task at hand, or when you're focused on trying to amuse yourself, it's very easy to lose sight of what it actually is you're doing here. Which is essentially trying to find evidence of outsiders. Now we've got, from what I remember, quite a long walk to the first station. All the while, we have very limited flashlight battery. I've just realized we're already 25% of the way down. And if we stray too far off the path, we're never going to be able to find our way there on our own. We'll have to wait until daylight. We're also going to start to get tired, which is something that we're really going to have to stay on top of. In the previous part, I let it get way too low. And I kind of started to... You guys told me they were hallucinations. I thought I was being haunted. But apparently, we will start to experience some negative effects from sleep deprivation. Which adds a whole other element to this game. Oh, the way those branches sway overhead. When they appear in your lights, they almost look like arms reaching down towards me. Oh. Wait. Wait, what are those? Those aren't the lights on the end of a tower. Or at least I don't think they are. They seem to be disconnected from anything. Uh, here's here's one of the 
towers. What is that over there? Is that just the array on top of the base itself? I panicked a little bit when I saw four floating red lights in the sky, given the nature of this game. I, I really hope that means I'm close. On the parts of the path that are overgrown, it can be kind of hard to stay on it. I just hope I didn't make a wrong turn at some point. Okay, there's a couple of signs over there. Base, okay. Yes, here we are, okay. Home sweet home and a sight for sore eyes. Although, as you'll see, the base itself can be quite spooky in its own way. Uh... Uh, what's the base password? Oh, thank God. Alright, 1111. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it looks like there are templates now so we can see how we're actually meant to report certain things. Okay, we'll definitely want to keep that for later. Uh, wait, how do I... Uh, the keybinds are a little bit unwieldy at times. One, 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 one. The first time you enter, it almost feels like a horror game at first. Look at how dark and dingy this is. But once we turn on the lights... Actually, no, those are the... I remember, those are the front porch lights. We need to use this one right here. And with only 20% flashlight battery remaining, here we are. Let's have a look back here, I guess. I should have remembered to bring the MRE from the from the front gate. There was one there last time, anyway. Don't you close in the dark with me. There's an MRE right here, and I really, really have to wonder just why it is we even have these things. Oh, wait, there's a note attached to you. Oh, it was a smiley face. Last shift is having fun with me, are they? All right, we'll get over here. Uh, I really need to move you guys out of here, but before I get any kind of sleep, I think I should at least take care of the first of my duties. Where's the light switch? Oh, here we go. And here is where we will regrettably be spending most of our time. Now, this may look like a wall of black, but if you take a peek over here, you'll see that this whole thing is actually a window. And I think for you to see this place the way I see it, I'll need to show it to you standing from way back over here. This is where we'll be spending our nights and a lot of our days. Imagine this, the isolation, the echo of our concrete base, our one oasis in the middle of this vast nothing. Just sitting here in the wee hours of the night with our feet up on the desk, waiting for something that we know is probably never going to come. But all the while, constantly thinking in our isolation and our sensory deprivation, did I really just see or hear something? Well, let's get to work. First of all, let's ping all these servers and see how they're doing. Uh, SV ping. Uh, and I gotta lean all the way over to type on my keyboard here because when I'm recording, the mic is in front of me, which means the keyboard is on my left. And this early on, all of them should still be okay. And look, as you can see, we are responsible for a lot of different towers. This place is absolutely massive. 
and let's open up our laptop so we can see our emails and learn what it is we have to be doing. Now we have all these upgrades that we can unlock and we certainly are going to want to start unlocking those as early as possible. And hopefully now, after playing the last time, we'll have at least a little bit of additional knowledge. Dr. Bao. Hello, I'm Dr. Bao. I'll be responsible for your daily tasks. In short, I'll ask you to do a quick task at the start of every day. First, I'll request a specific amount of drives. These can range from level 0 to level 3. I understand your situation, however, and will not request a drive you can't obtain. The second I will ask of you is a simple satellite checkup. Go to the satellite, type in svhash into the server, and write down the server and number in a note. For example, Walter7258. Once you've done that, attach it to the lid of a drive box and send it off with the drone. I have left a little notebook on the table you can tear some pages out of for the notes. As usual, you'll get a nice point bonus if you complete these for me. Have a nice day or night, wherever you are. Dr. Bao. Now I severely misunderstood this the first time around. I thought I had to drive around and do all of them. That was a waste of time. And Professor Leah. Welcome to your new job, Dr. Kell. My name is Leah, your main supervisor. You probably got through the learning period, but... I'll remind you what your job is and what to do. That came off a little passive-aggressive. In short, your job is basically scanning the sky for anomalous signals. That is your main task. Another task is to process the data of these signals and send us the data stored on analog drives. You'll get a reward for each drive, and if you process the signal for further levels, you'll get more points. The next task is to look after these big satellite dishes, its servers, and calibration. You can recalibrate satellites remotely through the console panel, but if the server shuts down, you'll have to manually fix it. The server is inside the satellites. Alright, I think that's it. The nuclear reactor is not implemented yet, so you don't need to worry about that. Stepping outside the fourth wall for a bit? Gather the signals, process them, sell results to us, look after the satellites, that's it. Good luck. And thus our journey into loneliness begins. See, the thing is, I think this time around, the last time I edited the video quite heavily, I think this time, as some of you suggested, I'm going to leave more in. It won't be completely unedited, but the isolation and the loneliness and the boredom are such a big part of the atmosphere of this game that I don't think it's right to edit it down to only when I'm talking. So let's begin. And the way we do that is by looking for signals. Now we can see that there's some down and to the right. And without upgrades, this is one of the first things we're going to want to upgrade. Uh, we can only ping every 25 to 30 seconds. I didn't see quite what it is. So we're going to want to head vaguely in that direction and just ping every once in a while. Early on, this is very, very frustrating to do. They're still down and further to the right. And some of them can actually be quite hard to spot. So every once in a while we'll want to slow our roll a bit. Wait, did I just see one? Every once in a while I think I see movement that sort of resembles what the more subtle ones can look like. There's one pretty close down into the right. There we go, there's a signal, and quite a big one at that. So let's press enter to ping it, but we may not actually get results. Oh, but we did. And now an interesting thing about that is we can very barely see it, but our satellites will now start turning to actually face it, which means that now we have to begin calibration. 
go like that. And let us begin the process of seeing where this is. Now, at first, we just kind of want to swing this thing wildly around to see if it grabs any kind of data. And it does not, so we're going to reverse the polarity. And that doesn't appear to have found anything either. Is there now a third dimension to this? Oh, there we are, there we are, there we are. I must have missed it the first time. Okay, so it's more back in the other direction. Oh, I keep forgetting that I can actually, you know, let's just swing all the way around. I keep forgetting that I can actually look at the screen while doing this. So let's just ease it in. This whole process seems a little bit easier than it was before. Oops. Nope, we gotta get this right. There we go. And now we go to frequency, in which we do basically the same thing. We just wanna sweep through the entire range, see if we start picking anything up. There we are, we're gonna pass right over it. As we go further in, I'm gonna start uh, using the larger uh, gradients, the larger increments. And that seems good enough. And now that data will start downloading. And in the meantime, I guess we should... See, I, what I really like about this game, even though it's kind of complicated to learn, is that it really does involve you in the process. It's a set of skills to learn. It's a routine to settle into. And that way, it's almost the ultimate job simulator because I feel like in job simulator horror, the more focused you're able to get on the job, the more distracted you are, the more the horror elements will actually stand out. And that's such a good thing to do. But this download is actually gonna take a little while. And I think, because I wanna get ahead of managing this, now would be a good time to grab a little bit of shut-eye before morning. And a little bit of a meal. 5.30, let's do it. We don't want to let our sleep get too low because it really can spiral on us. Game saves. We'll bring it up to, say, 90. I think that'll be fine. It'll still be early morning. And there we go. Now, the base does have a limited amount of power. I don't know if leaving the lights on is, like, a bad idea or not. But we can come in here and see this is probably done downloading now. Yep. Which means we can... Oh, wait. No, we don't want to take that out yet. We need to save the signal. Right? Shouldn't it be in here? Okay. So, but now we can upload the data. And right now, later on, we're going to need to process it in order to get more uh, rewards for upgrades. But for now, we can't actually do that. So what we have to do is put it into here, and we'll bring it around to the... Uh, where's our box? Where's our first box? Oh, uh, well, it doesn't matter for now. Uh, oh, there's a note back here. Uh, there's the sample form for how we report the satellites. Yeah, every day they'll ask us to report specific ones. All looks good still. That's good. More time for us to start finding another signal. I feel like coming in with this knowledge is really great. It's better than coming in blind and having to learn everything and being set way back as a result. So let's start looking for another signal. Oh, I just screwed up. Okay, there's one directly above us. And I'm going to go for that because there's less likelihood that we miss it. Yeah, it's a real... When you do this, it's a real cat and mouse game. There's a signal. It's a subtle one. Because you really want to kind of move along an axis, try to make the most out of the time between pings. There is, like, sort of a finicky skill to everything in this. And luckily, we have a successful ping. And you'll see the satellites are turning in order to intercept that. That is so cool. The graphics also feel like they're maybe a little bit more refined this time around. Maybe it's just me. 
but we'll once again begin the process. So we toggle polarity filter. And we'll start swinging this baby around, see what it sees. Uh, it is on this one. Okay. So that's nice and easy peasy. Let's just go ahead and grab you, switch to one. And that's what a lot of this job is. A lot of it is just like fiddling with levers and dials. But I think that's part of what makes this work so well. I didn't like it at first, like the first time I played it. But now I can't imagine it any other way. Oh, very early on. This is a pretty easy one to intercept. There we go. And that should be downloaded in no time flat. Now, in the meantime, let's have a look at... Okay, here's the boxes that we want to send these things away in. So we'll just leave that right here. No reason not to. We can remove the lid independently. No. Come on, lid. Put you... No. Lid over here. The lid. The lid. The lid. Uh, and we just grab you and place you here. Oops. It's a real shame that early on we can't process these things because, you know, the information is here. We'd be able to get so much more for it. I, I really love the sort of shoestring budget that this thing feels like it has. I noted that in the previous part where it, it feels like this is all something that was probably very expensive to set up and was probably considered very important at one point in time. But it all just kind of fell by the wayside. Now it's something that nobody really thinks about. But even if it's not publicly popular, well, there is still a skeleton crew that has to come out here and do this job. It's a thankless task and one that even we ourselves can't be sure is actually doing anything. There's so many layers to what makes the mood of this game. And that's what I love so much about it. There's a lot going on, even if it seems like we're just kind of kicking our feet up most of the time. I wonder if it wouldn't maybe be beneficial while we wait to start, like, I don't know, piling all the garbage up somewhere? Like, maybe there's a trash can we can find? I wonder if we can actually maybe get some kind of reward for tidying up the base. Ooh. Oh, we found a burger. Yeah, there's actually, it seems like it tracks your progress on tracking down all these burgers and eating them. I actually truly believe that some of the uh, hallucinations that I was having the first time around were because I ate the toilet burger. And I forgot to look for a garbage can, but right about now, this should be finishing up. Good timing. Uh, which means we can now undo that. Save signal. Save signal. Can we open up these lockers? We can. Okay, we're going to want to search this base thoroughly because we're going to want all the free food we can get. I think they're going to send an MRE each day, but we're probably going to need more than that to live on. I mean, we've already eaten one. suppose we can always grab a free run from back at the gate. Yeah, I'm not sure why this isn't working. Do we maybe need to wait for the detector status to reach 100%? Hello, what is this? Uh... I don't know if that was there before. There's just like a sump or something? What's the purpose of that? That's kind of weird. And we look up and we can see... What appears to be Duna. Hmm. Maybe that's the end goal of this game. We're gonna encounter Kerbals. You know, I had thought at first that it would be some kind of planet with a ring, but it seems like this is actually a satellite. Well, I guess that's a false alarm, but then again, most of this will be. Once we actually get this thing downloaded, uh, we'll give it a listen. Because I forgot to do that for the last one. Actually, we could still do that for this, couldn't we? Yeah, we can. Let's see, what happens if we upload that data, Red Dwarf, and uh, play it? Yep, 
Yeah, at this stage, it's pretty much, yeah, we do have to, we have to wait for the detector status to reach 100%, which takes a little longer. And at this point, it's not really going to be worth listening to these because it's just going to be a garbled signal. And we'll load you up. And that is two ready to go out, which is already a lot better than my first day on the job before. And we begin our search for another. And after that, we're going to have to eat something. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised that hasn't happened already. Uh, sometimes it just fails to get anything, which uh, we can improve with upgrades. Which is why I think it's so important that we gain the advantage by gaining a bunch of these things on the first day. And we've got it. And after this, I'm going to sleep for a little while. It's only noon. But I really want to eat and sleep so that we'll be ready to take on the night. Because the night, I feel like, is when this game really shines. I mean, not literally, of course. Slow it down as it comes in, and perfect. Now we switch over to here. Oops, passed it already. Wow, getting real easy to find signals so far. Switch it to one so we can really narrow it down and boop. Perfect, and that'll start downloading. Well, now's a good time to go to sleep. We can turn off these lights. We don't need them right now. Oh, I should also uh, grab some flashlight batteries. Here we go, Alt-E. And we're good. I feel like I just saw the lights flicker and stuff. Like, things really did some weirdness for a second. Oh, I thought that was footsteps behind me, but I'm pretty sure it was just noises from the servers. Uh, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to drive myself crazy and ping the satellites again. I'm just going to go out, have myself a nice floor burger, and go to bed. Now, do we have here... Oh, man, I don't know how I feel about falling asleep and waking up in the dark. Do we have a trash bin? I don't see one. Nobody hiding in the locker. That's good. I'm never sure if you guys have moved or not. But let's have a rest. Yeah, it's really, really important that we stay on top of our sleep, because otherwise, things are just going to spiral. Not only are we going to start experiencing hallucinations, but we're also going to be too tired to the point where we'll outright refuse to do certain things. But we get a good day's sleep. If any of those towers have gone offline, we're going to have a real problem. And let's start to turn on the lights. And see how this thing's doing. It should be done by now. Yep, we have 100% and 100%, uh, which means we can download that signal and go grab a blank drive to put it on. And at this rate, we're going to have to buy some new ones very soon. Yaboop. And yaboop. I can't wait until we can actually start processing these. Now, uh, for the part that I've kind of been dreading... Which is, we are going to have to ping these towers, and because sooner rather than later, we're going to have to go out and fix some. There we go. Whiskey is down, and we're going to have to go out there and fix it. So where's Whiskey? Uh, whiskey is pretty far out. So we're in for a drive, and we are quickly losing daylight. And that image, man, it evokes such a sense of dread in me. It's a beautiful sight. It really is, especially as someone who enjoys nature. But you just know that as you sit here, over time, you're just going to watch that beautiful image fade to black. And anything can see in, and you can't see out. So we're going to want to SV target. Uh, wait, is that how we do it? Yeah, SV target whiskey. And what that's going to do is it's going to set our compass 
in the direction we need to go. Now, I don't remember if it was red or blue that takes us there. Now, thankfully, we're not on foot like we were at the start of this day. One, 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 one. I wasn't ready for you guys in silhouette like this. Now, here is our garage bay. And the way this works is we have a landing pad seen here with top of the line construction for the drone that is basically our sole connection with the outside world aside from our emails. I'm now seeing that there's a burger up there. But we're going to be getting around with this ATV. Oh. Let's get a move on. We're going to climb on and get this thing going because I am going to try to be back before dark. Now, I'm pretty sure that this tower is on the other side of the river, so we're going to have to go back across the bridge. It's times like this when you really get a sense for your isolation, because it's when you get a sense of the scale for just how alone you are, for just how far it is to the nearest people. Now, let's put our brakes on. I want to read these signs. How do I get off? Escape. Okay, whiskey is this way, so we don't actually have to cross the river. Tally ho! There's rocks in the road. Uh, I should actually, as a as a form of maintenance, I should probably be removing these, oh, but I can't pick up the big ones. Well, that's dangerous. The brake at least seems to be doing a little bit better, and we can turn on our headlights. Which I imagine probably drains gas a little bit faster. See, the sounds of the birds chirping are really comforting. Makes it feel a little less alone. Makes it feel more like a nature hike. But at night, when they fade away and you start to mainly hear crickets and such, or just silence, that's when it gets a lot creepier. Right, it is starting to get really, really dark and hard to see, even with our headlights. But we should be coming up on whiskey very soon. I'm going to cut through the woods, which may not be a smart idea. Oh, look at this visibility. But I just want to make a beeline straight for it. Uh, we end up back on the road anyway. There are times where it's overgrown just a little bit and you kind of lose sight of it. See right there, there's a tree growing out of the middle, which goes to show how maintained this whole property is. I have to wonder where this actually is. What state? What country? Are we in the middle of a national park or something? Or is it government property just off in the middle of nowhere? This has got to be it. Oh, listen to that ominous music. Well, let's have a look at what it is we're meant to be seeing. We're in that moment where it's actually almost harder to see than at pure night. Because there's so much harsh contrast. My eyes want to adjust to the sky, but it leaves everything else black. Imagine something crazy chasing you through the woods, this being your only port in the storm. But we're able to confirm this is it, because we got a red blinking light on the server. And to fix this, we have to solve a math game in which basically uh, we solve these very simple equations and whatever the last digit is of the result, that's what we have to put in. So 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 plus 0 is 4, 1 plus 3 is 4, 9 plus 1 is 10, and the last digit of that is 0. 9 plus 8 is... Hang on. See, when numbers roll over like that, I have to think about it for a second. 17, so that would be 7. 4 minus 9, and when it goes into negative, 
That would be negative 5, but it's just 5. 3 plus 7 is 10, and 9 plus 7 is 16. Yeah, okay. So it's just the way my brain works. When numbers roll over into a new 10 or 100, like, it, it just completely shorts out and I have to think about it. But whiskey is back up. We have not received any specific order, so we don't have to worry about taking down the hash number or whatever they call it. Which means we can just leave. Although it seems we'll be returning in darkness. I maybe should have pinged some of the other towers while I was here, but... Do you see that? I could have sworn I just saw what looked like a couple of glowing eyes off in the woods, a couple of white lights. I'm gonna not think about that very much, if you don't mind. Now the hard thing is always getting back. We kind of want to retrace our direction. But hopefully, if I go back this way, I'll be able to find the road. Ah, there we go. It's a stone post. Which, in the dark, with how dark this game gets, things like that are truly a godsend. I wonder if at some point we'll be able to buy a GPS or something. I actually should take a look at that computer to see what upgrades are available to us, because there's not only upgrades to our systems, we can also buy certain things. Like, for example, we can buy a coffee maker if we save up all the pennies in our piggy bank this way to base. I actually am kind of tempted to make a stop at the gate, now that I think about it, because that will enable us to uh, grab the MRE that I believe is left right next to it. And we are very hungry. Uh, going for a drive at night. It's the kind of thing where I feel like if I were with even one other person, it would be very relaxing and this would be almost a dream job. But in practice, since we're the only ones, I would just be constantly looking over my shoulder. You see that silhouette of the tree line on top of the mountains? I really like that this game combines the beauty with the creepiness. Save error null. Is that something I should be worried about? See, the thing is, this is also the kind of game that would just screw with me. So, let's put that away. Uh, I'll just snarf you down right here. We gotta keep our hunger up. Uh, looking at that blackness behind me is so creepy. And let's turn it around and head home, which I am more than happy to do. That didn't actually take very long at all. I'm actually really surprised, given how long it took to actually walk there. I mean, of course it makes sense. We do have some wheels now. But also, you have to consider, it's very important for me to keep talking to myself, or else I'll start to get way too creeped out and start turning to look behind me in my own room, which I've done several times since I brought up that idea. I also really dread running into a sign that doesn't have the word base on it, because that'll mean I'm so far off course it's ridiculous. about you. Base? Okay, great. It's not all that far, but it is sort of difficult to navigate when you're out here in the dark. It's definitely better to look for things while you're, while you're away. Oh man, before I left, I should have started looking for a new signal. It could have been more efficient if it was doing that while I was away. I believe the more towers are offline, the less efficient your searches will actually be. So it's not like it'll just tell you, no, you can't do anything until you fix it. But it is something you'll want to be on top of. 
Because if you let it go too long, you're gonna have a whole day where you're just fixing towers. I kind of feel like I've gone too far. I'm starting to lose the road, too. Wait, is that it up ahead? I think that's it. Okay. Oh, thank you. This is the kind of game where, like, when you think it's been too long since you've seen the thing you're heading towards, you really do start to worry. Worry that you're going to end up lost out here. Alright. But, home sweet home. Thanks for holding down the fort, mannequin buddies. After seeing the smiley face taped onto one of them, I guess it's not too unreasonable to think of them as my mannequin friends from In Sound Mind. Well, let's see. All of our servers are back on. Let's start looking for more signals. Of course, now off to my left, that viewport is now completely pitch black. Meaning the loneliness simulator has truly begun. See, it's weird. I've always said that a big part of the creepy and comfy feeling is a sense of danger, but a sense of insulation from that danger. And that's really what this base provides. There we go. I mean, actually, this might be the only game that really truly does that. Because we're responsible for all the decision making, for all the maintenance, for all the tasks that have to be accomplished, it's really cool. It gives us this bubble to live in, the fear of leaving the bubble, but that sort of creeped out feeling even within the bubble. It's doing a lot of things really, really well in that regard, and I think other games could stand to take note, particularly job simulators. Alright, polarity filter. Swing you around town. And we are good. 199.8%. That will do us just fine. In the morning, we'll call the drone. We'll have four new items to report. Did we actually have a task for today? I don't think so. I think today was just to get acquainted. Uh, server alert, spectrogram visualization. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff. Cameras, photos. There's a lot of stuff here that actually wasn't here before. Uh, here we can actually view our achievements. And in the store, we can get a sleeping bag, so we could actually spend the night outside. Uh, we can get varying qualities of camera, server protection kit, server repair kit. All manner of things, but the coffee maker is gone. That was kind of the golden ticket before. Oh, wait, no, 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 there's a whole bunch of categories. Digital map, okay, we can get like a GPS, we can get a crowbar. A digital camera. Oh, this is so wonderfully complex. All kinds of things to help us out, and we have to decide where our resources are best located. More clocks to stick around the base? Okay. Uh, as for food, it seems like they've reduced the price somewhat. Yeah, well, the MREs are actually, I think, a little bit more expensive, even. But there are things we can do without breaking the bank now. Yeah, definitely one of the first things we're going to want to do, even before the reduced ping frequency, is we're going to want to upgrade our... Uh, where is that? We're going to want to upgrade the computer level. Because we really, really, really want to be able to... We really want to be able to get the most out of each of these files. And now that we don't really have all that much to do for the rest of the night... Tell you what, there's something that's been bothering me since the, since the first time I played. Outside of the garage, there's what looks to be like a little bunker. What do you say we go check that out? I mean, look, we're bored on the night shift. Who doesn't go explore their workplace, right? Huh, that one doesn't work. 
do not enter. Hmm. There's got to be some way to figure out a way in. And why wouldn't they want us going down here? Literally a note left for the staff saying do not enter. That adds a new element of mystery to this. Oh wait, your lights are still on. That's probably running down fuel, right? Uh. We really need to search each of these lockers because if there's even a chance that one of them has a burger in it. Tools to break the boxes with. Ooh. Tools. Tools for break box. Yeah. <laughs> or an alien skull. What are you guys looking at? Actually, come to think of it, uh, since we do not want to be sleeping with mannequins present, I think I'm going to begin the process of moving you guys away. I think into the garage is actually a good place for all of you to hang out. Uh, Charlie's down. I might want to save that until morning. It's possible more towers will be down by then. But that's fine. We can just make it an extended trip. I mean, it's actually probably more efficient to do it that way, right? No, don't you close on me. I know they're on a timer, but it's still really creepy to be walking down the hall and catch a glimpse of a door closing without your input. Nope. I think one of you also told me that we can break all these big boxes to get stuff. That might be something that comes to help us. Also, I love the litter on the ground because I really like how it speaks to the fact that we're not the only ones to inhabit this space. That this place has been occupied with a million bored people like us. Or, let's be real, probably a handful of bored people for however long they could stand to do this job. How are we doing here? Still good, going a bit slowly, but that's okay. I think we'll eat the toilet burger and maybe try to get just a little bit of sleep. And we regain five stamina. Is that just from using the toilet? And we cannot use the sink, man. I, I really wish we could get some blinds for these windows. That's like my number one wish. Let's save some power, turn the lights out. Oh, there's another burger under the bed. Good to know. And let's get some sleep. Ooh, that is so pretty. But I'm going to wake up for now, wake up in the middle of the night, because that signal should be done by now. And if I start looking for another one and go to sleep, then maybe we'll have a decent amount of drives ready to go. Uh, we can save. And let's grab one more drive. We're actually burning through these things so quickly for the first day. I almost wish I could hold on to them and get the upgrade some other way. I actually could if tomorrow we get some if tomorrow we get some tower jobs. But let's oh you're already saved. We need to do that. And you're in. Oh, here comes the drone. I hear it. Are you coming to deliver our first care package? Oh wait, does the drone still fly away in like a really janky fashion? Come on, drop the box, drop the box, drop the box. I want to show me what you got. Yeah. It's not quite as janky as before, but still a little janky. That's the note from before. And we get some food. Exulant. 
and we get a new drive, which we're going to use for the final one before we start sending them out. I think what we do is we send these out. We'll probably get 25 credits for these, which won't be quite enough to upgrade the computer, but between this and tomorrow's tasks, it should be doable. Uh, so let's start looking for a new one. Now, here's the thing. I, it's very late. I've just gotten back from doing something with a friend, working all day earlier today, and I wasn't going to do this because I'm kind of sleepy. But I figured that's probably appropriate for this game, isn't it? Playing this game while tired, it's probably not a bad idea. Come on, where was it? I could have sworn I saw it actually just now. Because that's the right mindset. That's how you would encounter the scares in a job like this. You'd just be sitting there, half asleep, with your feet up on the table. And then you see something alarming, something that startles you. You're shaken awake. Only you have no idea by the time you're fully conscious if you even really saw anything. That's what workplace horror is all about. There we are. But it too disappears when I reach it. There we go. It increases in frequency the closer we get. And perfect. 100, 100. Couldn't ask for anything better. And let's just go to bed, I guess. In the morning, we'll start the hunt for whatever servers are down. But now, I just want to keep on top of this. That care package really helped us a lot. I do wonder if it actually gives you more sleep. Like, it seems like it's going up faster than before. I wonder if you actually get a better sleep if the lights are out. But we awake in the morning feeling very well rested. And now, okay. I, I forgot for a second that I moved the mannequins to the garage. And I was very startled by the fact that they weren't there upon waking. Okay. Still dark out. Only 5.30 in the morning. Man, my sleep schedule is so out of whack. I feel like it would really mess with your sense of, well, time. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right. Uh, checking on this. 100%, although it's... Wait, no. Why is it taking so long? Unless it hasn't really been all that long. Yeah, I think it was only like 2.33 when I started grabbing this signal. It hasn't actually been that long. Well, I guess we're just kind of left to twiddle our thumbs then. Or start cleaning the base. Uh, if we have a look over here, let's just ping these one more time and see if anybody else has gone down. Have a look at our servers here to see if any of them have gone down. Looks like they're still going strong. That planet. I do wonder why it's pointed at that planet in particular. We can't seem to move it. What's the significance? Hmm. I guess somebody who was here last must have tuned into it pointed at it. I, I wonder if maybe they saw something or received a signal that made them want to check. I mean, clearly others who came before me have seen things that I don't know about if they're not wanting us to go into the bunker. Yeah, it's still just Charlie that's down. Uh, tell you what, the sun's coming up. Where's Charlie? Charlie is not far away at all. I think even though it's still a little bit dark, I think we go over, grab Charlie, make this a little bit more efficient so that we can get the drone in the morning. Oh, that music is kicking in. And I always get so nervous leaving. All these mannequins silently staring. I feel like they're watching me leave for the last time. The only witnesses for my last known whereabouts. 
That's Charlie over there, but I think we might have to cross the river in order to actually get to it. Mornings, huh? Sometimes they can be just as creepy as evenings. The sun is coming up, but you get the feeling that you're not out of danger yet, or maybe even that you're being lulled into a false sense of security. I mean, how many horror movies end at night? Most of them end during the morning. That's when the final scare usually comes in. Charlie is this way, as I thought. Should be right through here. Yep, there we go. The roads will only really lead you until you're close. They don't actually take you right directly up to it. Well, let's have a look at whatever problems you, sir, should happen to be having. Now, I actually am not sure. I think last time we got our first emails when I sent the drone in to pick up what we had, but I'm not actually sure if, uh, I'm not actually sure if they come the next day automatically, or if it's after we send out our first signals. Alright, 8 plus 8 is 16, 5 plus 4 is 9, 8 plus 2 is 10, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 minus 8 is negative 5, 6 minus 9, negative 3, 5 plus 7, 12, and 8 plus 0 is 8. And just like that, we are repaired. Oh, look at these vistas. This game allows you to feel such a range of emotions. And I think that's why it's so effective. Because things stand out more when it's not the only thing you come to the experience for. Horror always works better when it's unexpected, but I'm starting to see that maybe the same is true for a lot of different feelings. Now, what is the deal, though, with that weird circle in the path up there? That road seems to lead off to nothing. I imagine it probably curves off to whatever's on the outskirts there. But when you get up high like this, you really get a sense for just how many of these things there are. Listen to the sound of our footsteps on metal echoing throughout this valley. Every aspect of this game really is trying to emphasize your isolation, and I love it for that. Home sweet home, and now that we've repaired that tower, the signal should be downloading at at least a slightly faster rate. Which is good for us, because we want to send this drone out and get some credits for upgrades as soon as we possibly can. And it's probably easier to get off of you and just kind of carry you this last distance, right? Yeah, just pick this thing up, no big deal. Let's go check on how this thing is doing. Looks like there's a first aid kit under the table in the garage. And it's almost there. The detector status has it. Uh, it just says object, object, but we can't quite tell what exactly it is. Still just a little bit longer to go, though, until we've actually got this thing. Any other servers being troublemakers? Uh, there is actually another troublemaker, Lima. Well, Lima, where's that? Uh, that one's also quite close, actually, so I'll go do that. Oh, and it looks like one of ours has gone down as well. All right, negative one, two, 14, negative one. Okay, so you're fixed. I don't think these actually matter just yet, just because uh, they handle the processing, which we can't do yet. But we're going to want to be doing that very soon. 
course, none of this super matters right now because you are about to be finished, uh, which means we can take you and stick you in here and do that and do that. And I think it's time for us to call the drone. So let's put you on top. That's five signals total. And let's see what happens. Let's just get you out of the way. Now, normally we won't have to be here for it, but we are going to want to sit here and watch and see the drone come in. What's cool about this is that we can actually see its distance. I guess it's about seven kilometers away to start with, which means that's probably the closest human civilization, being that that's where it drops off all the data we give them. Oh, I just found another secret hidden burger. Nom, 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 nom. Plus we know there's one on top of the garage as well. Question is, how do we get up there? Oh, there's a ladder around the side. No time to worry about that. The drone is coming. There it is. Oh, first time we've seen it approach from so far away. Oh, this will never not be cool to me. Go on and take it. And gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, the jank is back. All right, now we'll probably be returning to an email, but first we gotta go check out Lima. Wow, you know, it's weird. Coming out here during like broad daylight, the early morning, it, it actually feels more like a nature walk. It actually feels just straight up comfy. And, you know, it's like I can almost smell the fresh water from the stream, the dew on the grass. This actually, you know, for its simplistic graphics, it actually does feel sort of like, well, a summer morning. Well, you're going to stay here, and I'm going to work out your problems. Oh, we can duck under the railings. That's useful to know. Five plus two is seven. And you are back up. Now, before I leave, is there anything else I should know about? And what is that in the corner? Ugh. That looks like a wooden rifle, but it just broke when I attempted to grab it. That was weird. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look... Can we actually scroll back in this? Uh, oh wait, no, it doesn't look like we can, but it looks like everybody's still online for now. Yeah, it's just really important to get these things early when you have nothing else to do, uh, because otherwise it just spirals into a whole thing where they're all down and you just don't have time to deal with it at all. It's good to be proactive in this. See, something I like about this base is that every part of it has a purpose. Every part of it is something for you to think about or a resource for you to make use of. And it's also small enough to feel like an isolated bubble, but big enough to feel like there's nooks and crannies to explore, reasons to look around. It really is great world design. And I've already talked about why the outside is designed so well. Now, have we any email? We do. Package received, uh, 25 points, been sent to your account balance. There's nothing on the drive. I don't know what happened, but whatever. What? Did I accidentally... Did I accidentally not do something right? Did I put a blank drive in by mistake, or did I not download something? I mean, nothing's on here. Nothing on here, so it doesn't look like I forgot anything. Uh, but daily task information. Nice job. 39 points has been sent to your account. I can't do anything without a full report, Dr. Kell. Pre please redo the full report. Check these satellite servers again, Charlie and Sierra. And good morning, pal. There's a task for you today. You need to bring us three level zero signals for a reward of 39. 
and 25 points for each server. Okay, I feel like something is out of whack here. I feel, like, I feel like there's weirdness going on here, unless I'm misunderstanding something. But anyway, our actual goals going forward, despite the weirdness, are clear. We need to check Charlie and Sierra, and uh, we need to get three of these things. So the best way to go about that is going to be to start looking for a new signal right now. All in the northwest direction, or I call it northwest. Oh, got one very quickly. There we go, excellent. Now let's have a look at what upgrades we can get right now. I'm actually not gonna bother with, well actually how many points do we have? 64. Hmm. We have to send three level zero so far, so I'm gonna leave it for now. But what should we do? We can upgrade server stability, that could be a thing. Maybe I should just invest a little bit in well, we can upgrade the server success rate. Let's do that. Let's do that twice, actually. Eh, three times. Three times is good. What can we get from the store? We can get more food. But I don't think we're really desperate for that just yet. We'll have to break open some of these boxes to see what's actually there. Uh, a hook. What do you do with a hook? I wish there was like a... I wish there was like a... Description. Password changer, we could probably use that to get into the bunker. And all kinds of other stuff. Okay, 100% on you. Now we'll start searching for whatever you've got. We get it pretty much immediately. Perfect. Or as close to perfect as we're going to get in the immediate moment. Already 30% detector status. And I'm going to... Uh, let's start working on those towers. I think that'll be a good idea for the first thing. Now, the good news is that Charlie is immediately in line with Sierra. So we can hit both of them fairly quickly. And we'll do all this while we're waiting for this to download. It should be done before we get back. All right, Charlie, long time no see. Now, what we needed to do was SV hash... And we generate a hash code, which I need to write down. Now, if we drop this and have a look at it. Okay, so we can see the template for a report. And we can see Charlie Sierra. It already has that information. We just need to pick it up and have a look. Okay, so now we can hold it right there and see that it is 27 F F R G two W X. Double check that two seven F F R G two W X. Excellent. Now all we need is Sierra. Actually, we can target Sierra from here, so we should do that to be safe, even if the direction is fairly straightforward. New Sierra. You really are in the middle of nowhere. All right, well, let's see what you have to say. Got a hash code from you. So if we go into here, hold, there, there, there's a right way to do this. It's unwieldy, but there's a right way to do this. So let's hold and right click, okay. And you are 18 F. H I W V H B H B. Okay, and we run another ping just to check, and it seems like everybody is still good for the time being. So let's head back to base, and we will attach this report to the lid of the next crate we send out. Which, by the way, I'm probably gonna have to uh, I'm probably gonna have to order more drives as well. We're moving kind of slow, actually. Couldn't you... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, we can actually... There is sort of a vehicle sprint here. We can move faster than this. Okay, that's good to know. But, yeah, that's all towers online. We've accomplished our task for the day. Which 
means that now after the one we've probably finished downloading by now, all we have to do is get two more. Rinse repeat. And we're probably going to set that one up after we find something to eat. It's so funny how we're basically scavenging for food doing this government job. But we're going to we're going to download this one, set the next one up, eat and sleep. Grab a one to use. There's just enough here for the day's tasks. Should probably put in an order for some food and for more of these things. Save, save. And I'll have to go get a box as well. Um. Oh wait, no, I remember the pratfall button from the tutorial, yeah. I'm not sure what the point of that is. It's the C key. I don't know why it's like that or what it's supposed to be representing. But anyway, oh, that drive was blending in there with its light facing down. You get in that box. We need you for today's tasks. And if I take the sheet of paper, holding all of this, yeah, let's drop that on the ground and see what we can do with you. All right, well, I'm just gonna hold on to this for now and was this burger here before? No, it's a hallucinogenic burger. Okay, I think uh, I think I see what you're getting at, game. But look, there's nothing to fear. There's a perfectly good burger under my bed. And another one on the roof. So really, I've got nothing to worry about. Is that a burger? No, that's a sponge and some kind of soap. Oh, well, I'm not really worried about it. I've got to get on the roof to eat a burger. It'll also be a good time to... Have we checked these lockers yet? No, but there's nothing here. I wish some of these takeout boxes were full. I'm also going to try and avoid sprinting, because I imagine sprinting probably reduces your, uh, your hunger faster, right? Yep. Yep. Well, for the video... Did that even improve our hunger at all? Huh. Well, it doesn't seem to have done anything. And I'm sure it never will. Is there anything over here? Anything I can scrounge from the trash? More of these mushrooms? Let's not worry about that for now. Or the horrible things that are happening to my body as we speak. Alright, well there's no point sleeping. I've forgotten to actually look for another signal. And it is getting late, so we're going to want to get at least some sleep. There we go, 99.9 .9 and 99.9. .9. And I think I'm going to use this moment to place an order for some food. I don't know what it is, but something about being able to see outside knowing that some form of aid is coming makes it feel like I'm in the home stretch, like something's going to happen before it gets here. It's a really weird feeling. I don't know why I'm getting it now in particular. And then again, maybe it's just a feeling of impending doom from that mushroom I ate. Drone's here. And that burger on the roof still taunts me. Maybe I could ask the drone to maybe use its skids to push it down the hole for me. There we go. And I know that you're carrying with you a delicious MRE. Bit, thank you. And thank you, 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 yum, yum. And I guess I'll pick you guys up and bring you inside. You look to be fine. Oh. I keep putting off sleep, but I think it'll be... Oh no, your detector status is still going to take a while. I'm going to get some shut-eye in the meantime. 
This game really encourages you to get your minutes in where you can. Oh, sweet, sweet rest. I'll come out at about 50, have a look at the progress, and then go back to bed. Eh, a couple more minutes. Alright, that's enough. How are we doing, scary signals from space? You are at 100%, which means you're ready for a new drive. We actually don't have the ability to buy any upgrades right now, or at least the uh, signal upgrades, which means we are wholly dependent on these. This needs to work. Uh, wrong thing. When that music comes in, it's just so creepy. It really makes you appreciate the scale of what it is you're actually doing. You feel so small out here, and yet what you're doing is so big, potentially. Yeah, I'm really, really glad we got that uh, ping efficiency upgrade. Huh. I'm pretty sure that's a branch moving in front of the in front of the lights, but it's still weird. Looks like a swaying arm. But I really don't want to get too close to the glass because then we are at definitely high alert for a jump scare. Look at our bed and the globe, the alarm clock. What a familiar image. Oh, I should also be checking, uh, I should be pinging the satellites. But I'll wait until we hit at least like 85, I think. We gotta get it. We gotta get it in where we can. That's just how it is. All right, I'm awake. Only 11 o'clock. We don't want to sleep the night away. That's the thing. One of these days, I'm gonna come through these doors and see something standing here. Okay, so you're done. Very nearly done with the detector. So let's go prep a drive. And while we're waiting for that to finish, we'll ping the remaining servers. Yep, they're all still good. We're doing some good maintenance here. Uh, one of our servers is down. So zero plus four is four. Zero plus four is also four. And you should be just about done. It's an unknown object. These are the things I'm itching to actually be able to listen to the signal on. Oops. Actually, no, we don't want this done just yet. We don't want to put that on until we're ready to put the tower reports. But that three, actually, that three is all they asked for, right? They only wanted the three. Three level zero signal plus those two. So now would actually be a good opportune time to send this off. I don't know. The physics are a little janky, I see. Okay, let's... All right, you are back. Drone is on its way. Let's move you. Man, why do we even have these barriers all over the place? Drone, are you almost here? I don't know why I feel so anxious when I know this thing is coming in. Maybe this is actually the care package. Maybe that's why it was already on its way and we just happened to catch it by coincidence? If it has an MRE, then we know that was the case, which is good because we could actually really use that right now. There's two sets of lights in the sky right now. Yeah, you're dropping that, but are you gonna also... Are you gonna also take? Are you gonna also take? Uh, 
I moved it out of the way because I didn't know what you would do. Keep the MRE, take this thing. Uh, there we are. And I keep forgetting we have to wait for the towers to actually turn and acquire it or else we won't be able to do this. Only thing is in the dark it's hard to tell when they finish turning well I guess I can sort of see the red moving across the sky which could be mistaken for something extraterrestrial in origin by the right person Oop. yeah this whole process I'm so glad that today I decided to read the comments on the previous video and learn that this is how it works that you can hold down E and actually look at this while you're doing it. Let's just call that back. It's a good thing drones don't get annoyed. Now what is this? We haven't really looked at this before. Stop alarm. Well, I don't want to stop anything. Scan completed. Four entities found. Now what does all of this refer to? I assume that that center point is us. Perhaps those are supposed to be, like, Easter eggs? Well, let's look at that topography, and yeah... Yeah, I think maybe there's stuff to the southeast over by Victor. Yeah, it seems like it still has that thing where the note disappears when you leave it on the landing pad like that. But you take that and we'll see what our bosses have to say about this. Find out if we're doing a good job. Unless maybe we won't get the email until it's all the way back? I don't know. You have failed the report? What do you mean I failed the report? I gave it to you! Okay, well, we just got a bunch. Uh, daily task information, nice job. I can't do anything without a full report. Please redo the full report. Check these satellites, Kilo and Victor. And I don't hear anything. Maybe it got corrupted or something. Well, it's not my problem. I can't do any processing, and apparently neither can you. Okay, so the tasks now are just to do Kilo and Victor. And they want two level zero signals. But does that mean that they have to be a minimum zero or whatever? I'm just going to start processing them for the sake of this video. All right, Bravo is down, and we have to go find Kilo and Victor. So that's what we're gonna do. We have enough food, so we're gonna buy a couple of upgrades, and then, or I'll save it for later, but we have to go out into the dark against my wishes and start looking right after I target Bravo. This garage door really makes it feel like an event every time you go to leave. And there's always such trepidation going out here into the woods at night. It just feels so unbelievably spooky. And it's just as much not knowing what's in the dark as just how small you feel in relation to this entire place. Oh, that hill makes it feel like there's not going to be a bridge here when you come over it. But first we go to Bravo, then to Kilo, which isn't too far away. Victor is going to be quite a bit more of a hike, actually, which has me a little bit concerned. But we only need to get two. I'm going to process them whether they like it or not, because I am making a video here. Wait, where's Bravo? This has got to be Bravo, right? Okay, my test before was that you drive past it, and if you see the compass turn, this has got to be it. Okay.
Listen to the sound of the crickets, my footsteps echoing on the metal. Those dull red lights dotting the horizon. A symbol of the huge scale of the work we're doing. Okay, so we need to fix you. Six plus three is nine. Eight plus four is 12. And that'll set our thing. Now these are all in a line of three. And I believe Kilo is at the end of that line. So that should do us just fine. And we'll start heading off. I believe it's to our south. I actually haven't checked the fuel on this thing in a while. Oh, fuel not very high. I think before I go for Victor, I should go and gas this thing up. I just haven't been paying attention to it this whole time. Now, Kilo, you are working. We need to do the SV hash and record that. Great, and that's it. I was following the sign that said base, but this doesn't look familiar. How do I even get this thing gassed up again? Hopefully we're not too far away. Now I have to run, lose up more food. Are you done, by the way? You are. So I'm going to save that. Save that to you. And tell you what, why don't we go ahead and, oh, we can't because I spent so much on MREs. <sighs> now as I carry this gas can all the way back to my ride, it's beginning to thunder and lightninging. JPC TK. Exciting gameplay. All right, Victor Ho. Oh, this one's really far on the outskirts. But we have made it to what appears to be the edge of the property. Wait, no. And if we can get down there, you know what? I'm already on the quad bike and right now all I'm thinking about is how I'm gonna get onto the roof and get that roof burger. That's kind of what this video has all been about in my eyes. Figuring out how to get up there. And I think I finally have the means to do it. You come here. Let me stack you right here. Climb on top. Uh, are you not solid to me? can't get on. What do you mean, can't get on? Oh, that is so annoying. I'm sure I could stack the boxes or something. But that's not what I feel like doing right now. I'm pretty sure I heard the drone come at some point. It doesn't appear to have brought me anything. That's alright, I got something for it. We've got one of these done. We have our report for the day. We just need another one of these signals. It's getting later. Oh no, it's one of these. A weird dream. Oh no. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, it's you guys. What happens if we can stay away from you for a decent amount of time? Like, what if we get through into here? Or is this just where you all come from? It's that. Well, you ain't gonna get me, nuh uh. Oh, and these nightmares, they cause you to lose sleep, don't they? Maybe we have to last for a certain length of time? I feel like it's starting to pull my mouse view a little bit. No, I'm cornered. I'm cornered, I'm cornered. Maybe I can make my way to the light? No! Just get me. Yep. And we have almost less sleep than before, and we wake up in the garage. I guess we were sleepwalking. It's like penalties like that, they really start to screw you over. 
Unfortunately, like one thing that doesn't seem to have really changed is you just end up in like a death spiral where there's very little way you can stay on schedule and still maintain your needs. And you continue your very, very slow thing. Maybe, what time is it now? Eh, it's really just rainy. It's only almost three o'clock. We can afford to do this for a little while longer. I think we'll be okay in the end if we play our cards right. Let's lock both of these, see if that makes any difference at all. Maybe we can upgrade our download speed. Uh, I mean, we can. Will it help at all? Probably only marginally. Okay, finally it's done. We know that it's a planet. And we can call the drone and hopefully accomplish our objectives for the day. Boop. 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 We've got the two of you. We get a package. Let's get this done. Okay, drop you in there. Come on, drop you in there. Drop you in there. Bring you over here. You on top. You on top. And let's go see what the drone has to say about you, sir. We really need this now. We're out of points, we're out of food. The food is actually a bigger problem than the sleep now. It's the exact opposite as the previous time I played. But no email telling us we've screwed it up completely, so hopefully we'll be able to get the credit for both tasks. And here comes our friendly neighborhood drone. Were you always up there? It's just a little weird, you know, when I'm off put by the shadow you cast on that wall. Droney boy. One of these days I'm gonna reach my arms up and you're gonna take me with you and lift me off to Neverland. Or I'll just decapitate myself in your blades, one or the other. And we'll wait for your email. In the meantime, I guess I just start searching for another signal because it wouldn't be much of a video if I finished this without actually scanning one of these things, right? Package received. Ten points have been sent to your account balance. What about the daily task? What about the daily task? Kilo and Victor, 25 for each server, and two signals of level zero. Um, I think I'm starting to starve to death. Please, can I just start actually getting something for eating these hallucinogenic burgers? Please, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh, it's fighting me every step of the way now. This is getting so annoying. Just let me play the game, please. Tell you what, we're going to upgrade our computer level. Hi, burger. And we're gonna go to the store, and we're gonna order it. Like, how do I know what's more efficient? I wish these things had stats listed. And that, th these are taking like an increasingly long time, which when time is money is becoming more and more of a problem because it's like, I just can't do anything about it. I have less and less ability to act and more and more need to exert myself. Finally! Oh, jeez, that took absolutely forever. I spent the entire game assuming this just wouldn't work because it takes so long. Now, what is this? Seriously, what is this? Is that supposed to be a garbage bag or what? A couple of useful things, discs, and a completed thing. Okay. Consider me curious. It's 
level zero. You have found me, yay. I lamau on that stuck drive. What a loser, lol. I'll tell you what, I'm still saving you for money. We have our new daily task, Quebec and Delta. One signal of level zero and one of level one. Okie dokie. Now, what about you, drone? I will happily accept an MRE. In fact, we don't even need to fully eat this one right now. This can just go over here for later. Oh man, breaking into each of these things is a project and a half. I literally assumed that you couldn't do it because it takes so long. And at a certain point, it's less reasonable to figure that it will work eventually. But I just got so desperate. So let's start processing you. While a new one is downloading, we are on a sacred mission for Delta, Bravo, and Corvette. Now two of those are in a line, one of them's a little farther off, so it's very similar to before. You know, I crossed the old bridge before, like the one over that way, and it didn't have a road attached to it. And now there's a concrete marker here? That's weird. It's, well, there's one right here, but it's almost like I'm on like an old part of the base or something. Maybe there's more to find out there. I mean, last time I did discover human remains out in the middle of nowhere notes on them about some kind of archaeological finds or something like that. So I know there's stuff to find out here. But we made our way back. We've collected the day's loot as far as, uh, as far as the towers go. Which means the hard stuff is done. At least I would hope so. How are you doing? You're done? Excellent. Now look, we can place you here. You're done processing. So what happens if we go and play you in here? Hmm. If we look in there, it's almost like a rounded shape starts to come through. Maybe with some, like, rings around it? Like, the static seems distorted in a circular fashion around that object. But that's all we'll learn at this level. Okay, you wanted those two reports, one level zero and one level one. Drop our report and go like this. Yep. So that should accomplish our objective for today, leaving us to do the rest and interpret whatever signals we can. Come get it. I wonder what you'll have to say about these reports. See, the thing is, whenever you have to type something by text in a game, and there's like a delayed feedback, it's always so hard to tell if it actually worked or not. Well, goodbye, drone. One of my few connections to the outside. Now, the longer I spend here, the more... Well, the more far off I feel, the more I feel like I might as well be on one of the planets I'm scanning. But that's going, and we'll be here soon. We do need to sleep. And it appears, now that our score has updated, that whatever we did just worked. Excellent. Okay, we're starting to have a little bit more breathing room. No data, nice job, but we didn't found anything. Wow, you belong in the research field. 
34 points, and it seems we got 50 for the report. And another 15 for that, and which means we have free reign for the rest of the day. Which means I think what we're going to do is upgrade ourselves in our computer level. Because before this video ends, I want to know what a level 3 sounds like. And we'll soon have the ability to do just that. Okay, uniform is down. And Charlie. Well, I need something to do. Where's uniform? Uh, uniform's way out. I can do Charlie, though. I, I'm just so lazy. I've been recording for... Uh, three and a half hours now. I, I do not feel like doing any more driving around. But Charlie's no problem. Listen to that music. It's like ethereal. Serene, but vaguely disconcerting. And it's gone, but it, it's like the sort of music I would imagine if I found myself in paradise, but something was wrong. Uh, it feels good to get this done at the start of the day, though. Kind of feels like me when I'm like a week ahead on recording and get the chance to go back to a game I really liked and record for three and a half hours. How are you doing? You are done. Excellent. Uh, which means we're going to grab a drive and check your signal all the way. There we go. And some foods. I wish I knew what these things were supposed to be. Just lumps of coal? I don't know. I feel like the crowbar would actually be a good investment early on. Just because it'll kind of keep you from having to buy a bunch of MREs and such. And so it may seem like a lot to spend at that stage, but it will keep you from spending for a long while in the early game. See, when you watch these huge machines turning... It's just, I don't know, when you're out there trying to solve all the problems in the server rooms and collecting hash codes and all that, it's easy to feel like you're an ant running around in a colony. But when you're inputting things, working on the computer, staring out the window, the whole thing starts to feel like an extension of you. It's a really weird thing to feel how you go back and forth from one and the other. Pretty much just waiting for these things to download, to process, and watching the sun go down. Which I guess is what it would be like doing this job in real time. But I'm so curious to learn what a full thing gets us. This is an exoplanet. There's one more level to do. And I guess now would be a good time to sleep a little. We have a couple of these discs for quick fixes, but honestly, the minigame isn't the problem for me. Maybe if everything starts failing at once, but the minigame has never been the issue for me. It's having to drive all the way out there. One of them is almost done. Oh, it's so close I can taste it. And it's like the atmosphere is dimming as we find ourselves on the precipice of new discoveries. Things that we apparently couldn't upgrade our computers for, despite the fact that we had the cash to shell out to build this place in the beginning. But hey, I don't run the place. 98%. 99%. And 100, that's 3 out of 3. We're going to learn what one of these is like. Hey, 
That's creepy. What would that be? I mean, it may seem anticlimactic, but that's... Hearing something in the middle of nothing has endless implications. What kind of supplies can we bash open from our living quarters? It seems like they all more or less had the same stuff. A disc, some of these things, and an MRE. There we go. But I'm not going to end it with that one. I'm going to end it when we've reached level 3 on this one right here. We'll give one more listen, and then I'm going to stop for now. I'm about to run out of flashlight battery, but I think I actually have some on me. All right, great. I just haven't had to pay attention to it in so long. Uh, there we go. Yeah, just doing some responsible maintenance while we're out here. Still too lazy to drive out to uniform, but Foxtrot and Echo, well, they're close enough that it's not too big of a hassle. Seems like I'm arriving just as the drone is. Let's close that, because I don't like having a big wall of black that things can actually come in through. The window is bad enough. You gonna give me my morning rations? Well, good, because I could use them. Thank you. How's this coming? Looks good. We do have a new email. We need two signals of level zero and two of level one. Hmm. That's gonna be a little tougher, and they want me to go to Gulf and India. And I'm very happy that's not my problem right now. You just start worrying about the last thing. You're done. signal from a dwarf planet that it, it, it's just disjointed enough that it could be random noise but you can't tell me that doesn't sound like music unbelievable and this is the kind of thing we do this for this is what we go through all the boredom the repetition this is what it's all for. It's to find something like that. Just the implication, just the shadow of something else out there. And in that way, something small is just the end of a ripple of something huge. And that's what I love about this game. It's the big and the small. The spookiness and the mundane. And the cosmic horror in our place in all of this. Uh, that was four hours well spent, and honestly, in this moment, I'm not even disappointed. 
I might play some more of this. I know there's so much more to this. Uh, but I am thoroughly exhausted for now. All right, everyone. I was initially going to end it right here. But a few days have passed. I've edited everything I had up until this point. And I've realized I can't end this video after making you watch for almost two hours and not achieve some things that I was just on the cusp of achieving. Or at least I think so. So we're going to load our save and get into it because I want to know what's in that bunker. Now here's something I hadn't even really looked at before. Uh, we can actually automate a bunch of our processes for points including ATV solar power so we never run out again. Man, how did this place have the budget to ever operate up until me? You know what this game kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Firewatch, but like with more openness and with tasks to do. Like imagine if Firewatch was an actual endless job simulator rather than a narrative-driven walking simulator. It's got that same serenity, it's got that same creeping background. It's probably why I like it so much. Hmm, in the daylight I can see that there are some additional crates on the roof. Alright, well we're gonna have to go back for whiskey at some point, so I'm gonna leave you out here. You're very low on fuel too. As am I, now that I look at it. We gotta send these signals out. Are you you are done, excellent. Burger and bones. Uh Okay. What dark secret are my coworkers hiding? Well we got some coffee, that's good, right? But no coffee maker. That's a little bit strange, don't you think? Now that we have a new signal going, let's see what the emails have to say about our first level three signals. Uh, daily task. Uh, there's not enough drives in data for us. Please complete the task. Uh, got the report, plus 50. I really hope the two level zeros that I sent out count towards it. It should. And we get 70 points for the drives. Excellent. Dr. Kale, you should have been trained on this. Don't send us this kind of data ever. I'm really hoping you're talking about the gag one we found in the box. Do you just not believe the apparently Herthian song we found out there? That was insane luck. It would seem I have encountered a bug where I cannot exit out of this because I fell while I had my inventory open and now I can't unpause. Why is my signal gone? I reloaded a save. I know it dropped the thing off because there's all my stuff. There's where that box fell, but the signal is reset. Why? Well, that's... Okay, we're not meeting the daily task today, that's for sure at this point. Oh, hey, I found another cheeseburger. Cool, I actually really, really need that. Ah. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take out a loan just for the sake of this video. I never like to take out a loan because I feel like the extra resource usage will just be yet another part of the death spiral. Two signals of level zero, two of one, and one of three. Best I can do is the satellite reports. That is absolutely not happening. What? What just happened? Uh... I thought I wasn't responsible for maintaining the power grid yet.
What's going on here? What do I have to do? I can turn the lights on. Do I just have to reset everything? That was terrifying and new. And that reset everything you were doing. Great. Man, that was like... That was like the darkness outside rushed in here all of a sudden. Alright, are you done? You are. Let's have a listen. And let's get you started. Because you're going to be the next one that we send out. Uh, alright. Alright. It's almost like some rumbling that, like, starts really low, but then slowly starts to ramp up. Almost as if it's in response to our ping. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna send this out with the loan request, because there's something that I really want to do in this video. Might be reckless, but I don't really care. Actually, it might be a better use of my time to send out the reports first, because then we'll get the points from that, yeah. Okay, and we can always call in the next one right away. Finally. Now that's the good stuff. With this kind of data, we can really start to build a better picture of what's out there. Good work, Dr. Kell. I send you literal music! And you tell me, don't send anything like this again. No, no, no. You only want the kind of exciting discoveries you're used to. No wonder this organization has fallen by the wayside. Uh, drive package received, 30 points. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Seems fine, 50. So that's for the reports. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and send out the... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send out the loan so that we can get ourselves some more MREs. And so that we can get the other toy that I'm waiting for. Email. Empty. Uh, package received. Zero points. Daily task. And loan information. Okay, so we got it. Now in order to get what I want, we just have to send out these next drives. Even this wasn't enough. I should have another MRE arriving very soon. But I guess not. Did it just take my money? Uh, another level three ready. Upload. And let's give her a listen. Excuse me, give me a moment to pick my jaw up off the floor. Those are unmistakably vocalizations. Alright, I better get big cash for this. Um, alright. This one is going to be done soon. Alright, we have a level one signal that is now done. I am going to... No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't actually want to do the second part. I want to make sure we have enough food in our system. So let's take that. We're going to send out another... We don't have another box. We don't have another box, which means we're going to have to spend money on a box, which means... Uh, 
Oh, thank God. Uh, like four boxes, and this is the first one I found that actually had that. All right, that should see us through to the end of the video at the very least. How are you doing? Almost there. You're actually you're actually processing really quickly. All right, so that's going to be another level three. So we are going to give it a listen. I'm starting to think that this isn't a game about doing a job. This is a game about going insane from starvation. It is honestly so unbelievably intrusive. Like, the sleep last time I played, that was on me. I didn't really look into it at all. But this, I've been trying to keep on top of my food by any means necessary the entire time. And even though I'm probably not spending as much as I'm supposed to on food, I still feel like I'm spending like almost everything I have on food. And it's just barely enough to keep me going. At midnight, I think they'll send another MRE, but I don't intend to be around for that. Or I guess it depends on a couple of things, but either way, I want that code changer. Here we are. Let's see what this has to say, although I doubt it can top the other one. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but... I can't help but see a face with a mouth along its entire length open in a scream. Eyes, nose, giant gaping mouth. I can't not see it. But here's what we are going to do. We're going to send this out in the box. And we're going to use that money to get ourselves the code changer. You are going to love this stuff. This is the kind of thing that should be making national news. Certainly more than enough to be able to feed myself. There we go. Uh, and we even have enough for another MRE, should we want it? Package received, 60 points. Oh, with an email like that, you know we found something good. Oh no, return this drive back into orbit. <laughs> yeah, imagine how I feel sitting here in this dark base. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Um, alright, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this save. I'm, I'm done with all of it. Um, I just want to see what's in that bunker. So... Let's place our order. And now we play the waiting game. Drop it, drop it, drop it! And boom, password changer. Let's take it down here and see what we can do. Uh, how do I actually go about using it? Press R to pick it up. Use. No, come on, how do I do this? Where did it go? Is it still in my hand? How do I use it? Okay, so it seems to react when I go right-click. So, if I do that, and then put you away, and then I want to use you. Now I can do that, but I can't, but it doesn't work on the bunker door. It just doesn't work. That's why it plays a different sound. Oh, that is so annoying. All right, well, I think I'm done here. Maybe it's something that like is supposed to work later, but like isn't in the game yet. But yeah, that was Voices of the Void and man, 
I really should not have to be scrounging for hamburgers on the roof after the stuff I've sent back. That's the kind of stuff that should be making careers. Soon as we gain the ability to scan these signals completely... Oh, we made some truly breathtaking discoveries, but... You know, they're the kind of thing that make me glad that they're being heard far out in the stars and not right down here. And as we sit in front of this blackened, gigantic bay window... I can't help but wonder what else the developer has planned for this. I mean, I, I tried to look up, like, whether I could change the password on there or what's in the bunker just now because I couldn't figure out how to get in. And there's actually very little information on this game, mainly probably because, uh, by nature of its premise, it's very... Ooh, we got another email. Uh, it, it's very niche. And also, it's in constant development, so I'm sure the information that's there is changing all the time. But I think I kind of sunk all my eggs into that basket. I basically dedicated my entire game to trying to get that password changer. And I think it's time to abandon save. Which I think is partly this game's biggest flaw. I feel like the resource management, even though it is necessary for it to be there, is just a bit too much. Like, it's almost ridiculously intrusive. I constantly felt like I was starving to death, even when I was spending a good portion of my money on food. I mean, maybe there's other food that's more cost-effective, but this tight budget certainly doesn't encourage more, like, I guess, experimental spending. I think if I were to play again, uh, the first thought would be that I'm going to get a crowbar, like, immediately so I can start breaking open all these crates more quickly. 100 hits with a rock. That's... I counted. I counted. I had plenty of opportunities to count. Uh, thank you for the new box, the new drive, and... the food. But I haven't also been scanning any new signals this entire day because I put all my eggs into this basket, so I think this save is more or less done for. Because there is a ton here. An absolute ton to spend our money on. Which speaks to an absolutely huge game when all is said and done, but the balance definitely needs to be worked on. All these different items... Honestly, to me that's a preview of an incredibly deep and rich experience. And I can't wait to see where this game goes. Uh, but one thing you can't say is that this game doesn't have an absolutely perfect vibe. The spookiness of being alone in our base. Feeling small despite the enormity of our work. And the excitement and absolute terror when something answers back. That may be a simple, undefined image, but it's going to be in my head for a long time. Alright everyone, there is actually one more thing that I still want to see to by the end of this video. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, and if not, you'll never see this, but this is actually kind of a spoiler. It's something of an easter egg, and it's something that I really want to find. I discovered it while I was googling information about this game after I finished recording the previous couple of sessions. But there is a potential terrestrial threat, a reason why I felt so spooked wandering out here in the dark, and now that I know that it might be out here, this walk is actually kind of terrifying. Alright, I need to rush to the base because I am going to want to do this in the daylight and with the help of the quad bike. So I guess I should start talking to keep myself company as I make my way through. And again, skip this if you don't want spoilers. You can stop the video right now. But from what I heard, there is actually a creature that wanders the woods at night. And we can find it if we can find its lair. We're very unlikely to spot it as of right now. This place is huge and it is pitch black. We don't even have a ride. But if we can get it at its lair during the day, maybe we can catch a glimpse of it. It's just going to be a matter of figuring out where that is. Man, this video took a turn, didn't it? Yeah, I don't even I don't even care about doing the job. I am literally just Sam Squanch hunting. Now I do wonder what all of this is supposed to be. 
I can press stop alarm, but it doesn't do anything. It's got something seemingly on me and directly to the southeast of me. I wonder if it's not that tower itself as the central point. What happens if we try climbing this? I mean, I might as well. I don't have anything to do until I have the opportunity to sleep and wait for daylight. Oh, this is horrible. This is really... Something about the way this thing is done, all the detail on the model, it's just really triggering, like... Fear of heights. Uh, I guess somebody else liked to come up here to relax, huh? We can put stuff in, but there's nothing in it. Oh, look, we can see the entire park. What is this? Uh, it doesn't look like it's interactable, but maybe it will be in the future. I can't believe I never thought to come up here. And now it's time to immediately go back down. Huh. When we look at this while it's raining, it looks kind of like we're hitting warp speed, huh? Only like we're shooting upwards through space in a direction like that. Huh. Well, actually, that kind of becomes hard to figure out when we're talking about space, everything being relative and all. Looks like it's finding something directly north. Moving in that sort of direction. It's 5.30, but because of the rain, it's still very, very dark. And we have no opportunity to sleep. That thing is definitely moving. I wonder if that's our friend. Huh, and it just disappears. Now we get another look during the day. And I'm just wondering where it is that I have to start my search for this thing. I'm pretty sure I had heard that it resides in a cave. But I don't know if we'll be able to see that from here. All right, the sun is rising. And against all of our job orders, we are going on a monster hunt. Yeah, not even a road leading to this bridge, which is why for a long time I didn't even know it was here. It does seem like there are like old unmaintained roads, some of which have completely grown over, but which there's evidence of other roads around. Oh, look. Here's one of those stone posts. Is this maybe, like... Is it possible that there, like, was supposed to have been something here at some point? I know there's other stuff to find off in these woods. I mean, last time I found, like, human remains, but... Oh, it's possible we discover other things while we're doing this, I guess. Oh, I think we found it. I think this is it. Right, parking brake. I mean, it's gotta be, right? Ooh, and there's a cheeseburger here. Um, I'll happily help myself to that. That looks like a skull. Ooh. And as we step inside, the ambient sounds of the birds and crickets go away. Leading only with our own footsteps.
I will not go in there. Oh, we just can't enter. Well, that's spooky, but maybe... Maybe we wait for nightfall and then go looking for your radar contact. Our compass will point in one direction, so we always know which direction we're facing relative to the base itself, so long as we don't target any radio towers. And since we've determined to be a crazy conspiracy theorist in the woods that only took this job to look for Sam Squanch, we have all the time in the world. All right, so for the sake of anyone wanting to find this themselves, it's right behind Romeo. Right behind Tower Romeo. While I wait for dark, I guess I'll just head out and just explore the far corners of the park, since we know there is stuff hidden out here. Preferably getting into the trees, off-road. That's where things will be hidden. Huh, that looks like something up ahead. What is this? Some kind of device? Oh, and, and a cheeseburger. I guess these things will coincide with the presence of Easter eggs. Huh, what is this? Almost looks like maybe a decoupled rocket stage or something. If we interpret these as uh, engine nozzles. That is very interesting indeed. Hang on, let's figure out what this is near. Okay, so this thing is on the hill just behind Uniform. Worth noting. You know, I'm starting to get yet another avenue for horror in this game. Roaming these woods looking for Easter eggs. Especially when we're supposed to be doing something else. It's giving me real... Well, it's giving me real inspirations of, like, park ranger stories. Stories of just weird things you happen upon while doing work in the woods. You know, they say it originates in the cave and then comes out at night. And perhaps we can see if the groundhog sees a shadow. Yeah, I've been waiting here for, like, quite a while. And I still haven't seen anything. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna get in there, check one last time for myself. I wish I could go further and deeper, see what I can find. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so the story was true. All right, it was a thing. It was indeed a thing, and now, now it's out there somewhere. Uh, and now, every time I play this game, I'm gonna know that it really is out there somewhere. Uh, all I had to go on was a little blurb on the wiki saying that there's a creature who comes out of a cave and roams the woods at night. I could have sworn I just heard like rustling or something off to my left. Is that what that sound is? How many has, have I been close to this thing before? I just need to go back to base. That's what I need right now. I just need to head back to base, make myself a nice cup of coffee with the coffee maker I can't afford and forget that this ever happened. But how can I? Here is our base. We are going to go inside. We are going to park this thing. We are going to 
close the garage door. And we are going into lockdown. Come on, there we go. Other door, other door, other door. Lock that, which, you know, I'm only now thinking, why does it give me the option to lock all this? And from this point forward, it will be impossible to ever see this job the same way again. Uh, but I think that's enough excitement for now. Uh, the creator really did not miss out on all the opportunities presented by having such a wide area for this game to take place in. Ah, oh, that's going to stay at the back of my mind for a long time, but... Okay, I think that was just the sound of the servers. Uh, I mean, throughout the Let's Play, I've mistaken that for footsteps, but now was really not the time for it to do that to me. It knows my scent now. Uh, but yeah, this is... I I've recorded about seven hours worth of footage for this video. Kind of went off the rails at the end there with my whole little monster hunt, but it turned out to be... By far the most fruitful scare of the game thus far. Anyway, I'm done for now. I'm going to seal myself in for a while, at least until sunrise, and... Tell you what, I can't even think about this right now, so... I'm just going to go give you my original outro.